Okay, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to make a case in Griffi. Uh, it's just a very quick video on uh, how to do that. Um, like I said in a previous video, there are a load more resources uh, and videos on the Griffi website. Um, like I said, this is just a short video to get you going. So uh, I've opened up Griffi, and there's a, as you can see, you're presented with a, a dashboard, and then there's a list of previous cases uh, that have been used. So I'm going to make a new case so I'll click that and then it'll ask you where you want to save it so I've made this um, folder here called Griffi video test and I'm, I'm going to call it the same name as well so just call the case that as well save and now um, you have um, various methods on how to import uh, what you want to grade or review um, so you know, Griffin has got a good um, capability of digesting the common forensic image files so as highlight over here you can see they're the ones that are supported there's the VIX case which is the uh, JSON ODATA, ODATA um, import and exports which are commonly used and obviously used in Axiom there's the uh, C4ALL XML file and then there's a, a folder, so you can just point it at a folder and it will uh, examine the folder contents uh, and, and, and import them that way. Uh, for this case, I'm going to import two JSON files that I've created out of Axiom. One was for uncategorized pictures and one was for um, videos. So I'll just click on the VIX case and it will ask me um, for the JSON file that we're going to import. So if you remember uh, on a previous video, I uh, exported the uncategorized pictures for Maxim. So when you do that, it will also export the uh, files or pictures as attachments. So we can click on that JSON there, click open. And it will just give a brief summary of um, what's included. So there's 172 files. And then it will ask you what do you want to uh, uh, put them in as now because these are uncategorized. Obviously, we want to leave it as uh, category 10 or 0, which is uncategorized. Click next. We do have the option to change the source ID, so we could call this um, pictures export or Axiom Pictures Export. Click Add. And now we'll do the same again for the videos. I'm going to be making a separate video on um, exporting and grading videos. So this is just a video on how to make the case. So these are some uh, videos that I exported again in JSON format. Point it at the JSON. Again, same screen comes up. It's telling me that there's seven uh, videos included. And this time I'm going to call them Axiom Videos Export. So now we're ready to go. So you can carry on, you can add a forensic image and other bits if you wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it as that. I'm going to click Next. A few more settings here. Uh, because we've used Axiom to do the bulk of the processing, that there's no need to check for images within the images and compressed archives because Axiom has already done that for us. And likewise, we're only examining images and videos, so we don't need to uh, check document and text files. A few more uh, settings. Um, I, I leave these uh, as they are by... Um, Default, you can use the Microsoft Photo DNA if you've got that enabled. Again, that's similar in Axiom, you, you need to be law enforcement to uh, enable that. And there's a few other settings here for creating uh, thumbnails and what have you. If you wanted to uh, apply filters as part of the processing, so uh, for example, if there was any um, pictures that were straight away ignorable it wouldn't add them to the case similar to the NSRL uh, hash set or um, the ignore non-relevant files setting in Axiom 
I'm just going to leave them as they are. And then there's a, a few um, case details here. Again, I'm just going to leave them. You can fill them in as and when. Click next, and then you can click start. And then, hopefully, you'll see uh, the progress bar in the bottom right hand corner here and this will tell you uh, what's going on and what tasks are left to do. I'm just going to pause the video for a minute whilst uh, this is uh, progressing and then get back to you. Okay, the uh, case has now been processed and finished. That only, couple, uh, only took a couple of minutes. Uh, this gives you a brief information about the case to say that there's 179 uh, items that need reviewing and if you remember that that, that would be correct for Maxim because we had 172 pictures plus 7 videos so uh, let's just have a quick look what we've got everything's uncategorized and then um, you can start to apply your filters to um, start reviewing and grading the material um, I'm going to be making a separate video on how to um, basic, do basic filtering and reviewing and grading in Griffi and uh, I'll do that in the next video. This was just a quick video to show you how to uh, make a case.